My name is Danielle Tate, and I'm a physical therapist who specializes in vestibular rehabilitation. I want to share with you my experience of trying out the Visual Eyes 505 system. So we were looking to buy new technology for the clinic to include infrared goggles, uh, and it's a very big decision. So I really wanted to see what was on the market, and I reached out to Intraacoustics, and they let me demo a pair of goggles so I can kind of get a feel for what they're like, what they were like using them on patients, how usable the software was, and what the video, video quality was like. So these are the goggles. Uh, they're pretty lightweight, and I have to say they're pretty easy to manage. They have a nice rubber grip around the inside where it contacts the patient's face, and for the most part, you get a really good seal. I have some smaller patients where maybe there was some gapping near the temple, but we were able to achieve fixation removed by darkening the room or by putting little uh, bits of foam in those areas, but that's been really rare. For the most part, this fits most of my patients' faces. It has a nice, easy, adjustable strap um, that loops around the patient's head. Pretty comfortable, easy to clean. On the top of the goggles here are where the cameras are, which do have adjustable knobs that you can use to focus the eye once you're in the software. And it videos the eye movements by recording the reflection of the eye off these little glass um, tabs here. You can remove fixation uh, with the use of a cover that fits pretty easily over the front of the goggles here, um, pretty much removing fixation altogether, allowing the patient to be completely in the dark. And those are easily removed and put back on as well. Uh, so far, my experience has been really, really good with these. I'm still getting used to having the glass tabs here, so I do keep a little microfiber cloth handy just so that I can um, wipe those down in case they do get little thumbprints on them. Uh, the software is pretty neat too. They do come with a little remote so you can start and stop video or move on to your next tests during your evaluation with the patient. The demo that I was sent was sent with a pair of goggles as well as a laptop and a room camera so that not only are you recording the eye movements with the infrared goggles, but you can also see what you're doing with the patient in real time in conjunction with the eye movements and testing. So I wanna give you a little idea of what my setup looks like um, just as I was figuring everything out. I have a little rollable cart here that has my emesis bags, uh, my ear model, anything that I might need to use with a patient during an evaluation, and the laptop fits very nicely on top. Uh, with the demo or the setup, you also get a room camera, which I have command stripped to the wall so that you can look down the center of the bed during testing so I can not only see my, my bedside evaluation with patients, what I'm doing with them, like a head shake or if I have fixation on or off, if I forgot to mention in my um, video with a patient, but also at, during repositioning, uh, testing and maneuvers, I can look to see where I am as far as a patient is on the table during maneuvers while I'm working with them. Here's a little bit more of an up close look at the goggles. So from the front, you can see they have the two little glass slabs here that reflect the uh, picture of the eye up to the cameras on top. Up on top, they actually have them labeled nicely, uh, Ralp and LARP. Um, and these two little knobs here are for focusing the eye once you get them um, on camera. Uh, the strap in the back here is pretty easy to work on with the patients. I have the patient hold the goggles to their face and then you just loop the strap through the little bar here, and then Velcro to the back of their head. It stays pretty snug. They don't move around too much. The rubber guard back here is pretty good with making sure it um, creates a seal and blocks fixation when you want it. Lightweight, pretty easy to use, and uh, overall really good. They also have a little button here that if you want to start and stop recording, you can press that while um, with the patient if you've got their hands on them or you don't have the ability to use the mouse or the little clicker. So there's a lot of options to make this your own set and kind of use them the way that you want to use them when you're treating. Next, I want to talk about the software in general. When you first get into the software, they have a space for you to log in patient information as far as first name, last name, you can assign them a patient ID and put their birth date along with their records. And then it keeps track of each patient, either by date, by ID, by name. And 
every time you work with that patient, you pull up their chart and it saves all of their, um, their stuff in one place, which I think is really, really nice. So you would select the patient you wanna work with or put in for a new patient and then click on the visualize system. When that pulls up, you'll see your room camera view and as well as a couple of other options. You can look to see what patient videos have already been um, recorded. You can see what sessions were performed and when, or you can go into new testing. The cool thing I really like about this system is the idea that you can use protocols. So they have ones already set up with the system, but you can also go in and customize your own. So in protocol management, you see that the system is also used for a VNG type of system as well, but we're using just the video frenzels. So for me, I was able to go in and kind of create my own setup for what kind of a protocol or test I want to run with my patients during each of my evaluations. So once you have your protocol selected, you can hit begin testing and there you'll have your eyes, uh, both right and left, as well as your room view. And you can adjust what you see. So if you want to be able to see more eyes, you can kind of just enlarge your eyes. You can have a more equal room view um, as you go along. And then from here, you'll see what test you'll be recording under um, right at the top. So as you go through, you can test each thing individually and uh, be able to kind of jump through your evaluation and making it easier when you go back to review a patient's video um, and want to see a specific test, you can just look at that one specific test rather than jumping through a whole lengthy recording or video. Um, they've got recording features uh, where you can start and pause it. Um, I also like that you can add notes or also include fixation so with a light inside the goggles. So putting a, the cover on the goggles um, will remove fixation, but instead of taking that off to give them fixation back, you can also turn a little light on inside so they can fixate during a test if you need them to. Um, very uh, intuitive, very easy to work with. Uh, I have to say it's, it's been a really nice system to kind of navigate and get a feel for. So here's an actual patient video um, that the patient agreed to let me use for this evaluator or for this review. Um, if we want to go back and look at when she first came in, we can go to patient sessions and it lists the dates that she's been in and the first one being uh, the one on the bottom. So it shows me which tests I performed and I've ch since changed the labeling uh, instead of doing each position um, a little bit differently, I kind of do all my positional tests now in one video. So if I pull up her hall pike and you can press play, you can kind of watch um, in real time. You can change if you want to look at more eyes, if you want to look at the room to see what we're doing with the patient during each time. But you can also surf through uh, the video here. So I know that she was negative on the right. She was a, a left posterior canal B from BV patient. So if I want to watch that again, I can always add notes going back and reviewing it. So we have her lie down. When she lies down, she gets a pretty good response. You can even see her hands moving, showing you that she's uh, vertiginous, which I thought was a pretty cool thing to see um, with that room camera. And then I go right from testing into treatment, and I like this video a lot, and I like that the quality that uh, the system has for showing room view as well as uh, the eye view is that during our our maneuver, which technically you probably don't need goggles for, um, it was helpful into making sure I was I had a successful maneuver. The patient had a really hard time um, getting the concept to roll all the way over onto her right. So when she tries to roll over, she doesn't really get proper positioning and I can monitor the screen to see if I get any sort of response indicating to me that those crystals are moving in the, the right direction. It's not until I really kind of repositioned her and got her all the way over that I was able to get the response I was looking for that we might have a more successful maneuver. Um, so these goggles were great, not only for evaluation, but uh, also for during the treatment. Seeing this nystagmus in this position of the Yepley maneuver makes me more confident of a successful treatment. So that was definitely great to have that available to me to even go back and, and look at that later on.
Overall, I have to say I really like the system. It's very easy to use, uh, easy to learn. The customer service is absolutely fantastic. They are very responsive and very helpful to make sure that you are successful in using their product. I also like that everything comes with the setup when you buy it. So once it arrives, you can get it going and it's ready to use in your practice. Overall, I have to say uh, I've been pretty happy using this in the clinic the last two weeks. I hope this review has been helpful for you if you have been considering buying goggles for your clinic. You can find more information about the goggles in the notes and thanks for watching.